Joe? Joe, there's all types of horrible weather outside. Snow and sleet, tornadoes and hurricanes and rain. There's all types of crap going on, Joe. I need you. Joe! Bur Bruce? Oh. Severe weather tips with Joe. Joe, tell me what you know. Okay, all right, Bruce. Um, well, since we're in my living room, I guess that we can talk about uh, heating sources in the winter time. Perfect. So we have here this this heater, just in case, keep try to keep you extra warm. But what's important is that when you plug it in, you plug it directly into the wall. You don't want to plug it into any sort of extension cord. What, like this? Yeah. Try not to plug it into extension cords unless you know they're rated for some sort of heating element, because typically they can overwhelm the extension cords, and then you could potentially have a fire on your hands. Forget that. Good. Next thing we can talk about while we're in here is always have first aid kit handy in your living room. It's helpful to have just in case you get hurt, something happens while you're sitting on the couch. You don't want to have to get up to go somewhere. Have it handy with you. Yeah, it's a great, great tip, Joe. Great tip. And then last tip while we're in the living room, we'll talk about TVs and, and electrical appliances and stuff in your living room. When you have them, make sure you plug them into their own plugs. Don't try to overload any outlets. Have them in their own designated areas. People have all sorts of different gaming systems, TVs, speakers, all that stuff. Try to get them in different outlets. Don't do them all in the same one. That's great. Man, Joe, it's getting warm, but I'm getting hungry. Oh, you want to go to the kitchen? Oh, yeah. Sure, let's go. All right, tell me about the kitchen. All right, so in the kitchen, a few different things. You want to make sure that you have non-perishable foods. So things like canned goods, oh. maybe soups. Soup. Okay. Maybe sausages. Sausages. Okay. Maybe green beans. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, eat more soup. Oh, okay, kitchen, soup. Yeah, yeah, soup. yeah. A uh, good one to have, peanut butter, for sure. Peanut oh, butter. Blow me up, I mean, blow me up. It's perfect. Now, also, Chips, non-perishable. No, no, sure no. I'm, I'm, watching, I'm watching my weight. Watching. Okay, yeah. all right, no problem. Uh, other thing you want to make sure, though, now with those cans, you got some cans there that don't have the pull tab on them. So you want to make sure that you have a handy-dandy can opener available to you so you can open your things without the pull tabs on them. I'm a pull tab kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah you, you, you took this back. Yeah. I'll take these. All right, good. Now, other thing, too, in the kitchen, you want to make sure you have at least a gallon of water per person per day for up to three days. So for me, since I live by myself, I've got three gallons of water. Oh, Joe, what about me? I didn't know you were coming, Bruce. I didn't know. <sighs> Fair enough. Now, last, while we're in the kitchen, if you're preparing food, you could potentially hurt yourself. Kitchens are places that have a lot of injuries, whether from cutting, scraping themselves, whatever. So it's important that you have... A first aid kit in the kitchen as well. That's bigger. It is bigger, so it's got more things in it because more injuries could happen in the kitchen than typical for a living room. Good tips. Now, last one, Bruce. If you do have any food in your refrigerator and the power is to go out for more than a few hours, you should probably toss the food. You don't want any of your food to get warm. You want it to stay nice and cold. Don't get sick. Exactly. Man, Joe, this is great, but the only thing you're missing, fruity pebbles. Oh, oh no, Bruce. I've got fruity pebbles. <sighs> Joe, 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 Joe. I know no. she had one more room, no, no, though. No. Uh, What's in the last that's, room, Joe? That's my bedroom. No, come, no, no we're not going to go in there. We you don't want to go, go in the bedroom? No, no, we don't need to go. What in. are you hiding in the bedroom, Joe? Nothing, but we don't need to go in there. Uh, well, you have t do you have tips for the bedroom? I do, actually, yes. Yeah. So before you go to bed at night, if you have burned any candles, because it is that time of year, make sure you blow out the candles before you go to bed. Another great tip, charge your electronic devices at night. That way, they're charged in the morning. And then last, make sure you have a flashlight nearby. That way, if the power goes out for any reason, you can see it get out of your room. That's great. That's all I need to hear. I don't even want to know why you got lots of candles next to your bed, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'm ready for the holidays. How did he get in here? May I want to change your code, Joe? For more tips, go to our website, qacdes.org, or visit ready.gov.